Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the channel and today we'll be talking about how we can set up a simple Django application inside Visual Studio Code. So before we can start the tutorial, it is very important that you all have Python and uh, Visual Studio Code downloaded. So you can head over to the official Python website and download Python, the latest version for Python. And after you're done installing and downloading and installing Python, you can head over to the official website of Visual Studio Code and download it for whichever operating system your machine runs, either Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. So once you have both Python and Visual Studio Code installed, you can we can start configuring our Python web application. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to open a for project folder in your uh, in your Visual Studio code. So once you can go to the desktop and I can just create a new folder here and I can call it uh, Django project. Yeah. So once I have a new folder created, I can click it and I can select I can click on select folder. So once I have clicked on select folder, I can oh hit control uh, launch the terminal using control and tilde so once i launch the terminal i can uh, the first thing that i need to do is set up a virtual environment so uh, as i have discussed in my previous video where i showed how to set up flask but if uh, but i would like i would repeat it again for whoever has not seen that video yet that a virtual environment is like an isolated environment for your project so that any installations project files dependencies do not interfere with your other web projects or your any other projects so we can go ahead and write pip install virtual env and uh, once we do that it says requirement already satisfied since i've already have it downloaded we go ahead and create a new virtual environment so we can just do that with virtual env and then we give the name of our virtual environment which is which i'm just gonna keep env so once we do that a uh, virtual environment has successfully been created so but then the next step is to enter the virtual environment so we can just do env slash script slash activate dot bat which is just the command to enter into the virtual environment but this command is for windows so if you would like to if you are on a mac os uh, then you the command you need to enter is en uh, uh, source env slash source space env slash bin slash activate so yeah so once we activate the virtual environment you can see that you have entered into the virtual environment so once we do that the next thing that we need to do is just down install django so we can do pip install and i want to download a specific version so i can just do 3.0 point and this is just a normal check nothing to worry about and uh, yeah so we can just we can uh, expect Django to start downloading. Oh, right, right, right. I need to write. Yeah. Yeah, so we can see that Django has started. Django has is installing. I just missed uh, equal to here. And yeah, so Django has successfully downloaded. The next command that we, the next thing that we need to do is create a project. So let's look at the Django project file structure. So Django is a little unique when it comes to the project structure. So what, ja so what uh, the hierarchy is, is that think of your Django project, like uh, the main, the root of a, th uh, look at, think of this hierarchy as your entire Django project. So if you had a normal website, uh, your uh, a main project will contain several app apps within it. So if this is your main project, so think of this for example as a normal website, then app one could be a blogging section, app two can be a social media interaction section, app three can be a chatting application within your app that allows users to interact with each other. So you can have separate components of your app, uh, of your project. Of you, you can have your uh, separate components of your project divided into apps like this. So your application remains a decoupled web application. So once it is de once it is a deep decoupled web application, it can be used as a component in another project. So this is what makes Django really helpful. Since once you have once you have for example a blogging section created in this in the, one of this app, you can import you can export it to another app and your and uh, yeah, you won't have to uh, code it again. 
so yeah so now that we have understood the structure we can go ahead and type the command to create a project so the command to create a project is django admin start project and once we do that we can just name our project so i'm going to name it my site once you have named the project another check by the antivirus just routine yes and uh, yeah we can see that my site has been successfully created so once we do that then the next step is to enter the directory so currently we are in the django project folder so we need to enter into our my site directory so we can just do cd my site and we are into the directory so the next thing for us to do is to run a command called python manage.py migrate so another thing that uh, we need to discuss is that every python app every every django app has a file called models.py which contains all the database tables so we need to perform and django has its pre-installed apps so we need to perform those migrations for which we need to use this command called python manage.py migrate so we click so we type python manage.py migrate and if you get an output like this then it means that you've successfully performed the migrations so yeah so once we have done this we just we can just simply go ahead and run our development server everything looks good and uh, it should work so we click we type python so the command to get our development uh, server running is just simply python manage.py run server so once we do this our python web application should be running at port 8000 at lo on localhost so we can go ahead and check and yes the install works successfully congratulations so this was just a simple tutorial on how you can get your django application set up in visual studio code so in further videos we'll be exploring more complicated topics on how we can rend how we can use uh, html templates how we can add styles to them then and then we can uh, build some more projects like a blog application etc so thank you so much for watching please like the video subscribe to the channel it really motivates me to put more content and once again thank you for watching